The American Deer and Wildlife Alliance is proud to present Deer and Wildlife Stories. I'm Keith Warren. Right on, baby. I'm a hunter. <laughs> a fisherman. That's what you don't want to do. See, that thing's gone all the way through my hand. A conservationist. Oh, come on. A family man. And I'm proud to be a deer farmer. Me? Yeah. I'm taking a road trip. And we're going behind the scenes of today's most innovative deer farmers and wildlife management operations in North America. And today we're smoking grass. This is Deer and Wildlife Stories. Welcome to the show and to Pennsylvania, where today I'm visiting the Dream Ranch. This has got to be the place. That may not look like much now. But I promise you, by tomorrow at this time, this place is going to be hopping. And all I got to do is find the boss. Earlier this season, you may have seen the show where we featured the Alabama Deer Association. One of the deer farmers we met up with was Will Ainsworth, who is one of the best known deer farmers in our country. And he's president of the Alabama Deer Association. You know, our mission is to, number one, is to protect the Alabama deer industry, and number two is to promote the deer industry. Will is such a serious deer farmer that he also owns a farm in Pennsylvania. Will's Pennsylvania Deer Farm is located just outside of Hillsdale, about an hour northwest of Altoona. People that will be coming out to tomorrow's event will be treated to a farm tour, and they'll have the opportunity to visit one-on-one -on -one with Will and get to see some of his impressive deer. While Will is busy with the auction, he asked me to head up to the barn and visit with his manager, Chris. Now, knowing Will the way I do, I should have known this was going to be a setup. Hey, Chris, how you doing? I know you can make it here. Yeah, I know. Doing all right? Yeah, I'm doing all right. I saw the little smoke signals coming on top yeah, of the we, hill. Uh, getting rid of our, all of our old hay and stuff, and uh, you know, I've got to go out here and feed some more deer. And, you know, we got a little more cleanup to do. If you don't mind, we got a little hay and stuff here that needs to be cleaned up. And if you really want to <laughs> help out, that'd be great for us. I'll do that. I always bring a work shirt, but uh, you're getting as bad as Will Ainsworth. Always put me to oh, work. Wait a minute now. <laughs> hey, I got more hair on my head. <laughs> if you had one, that'd be one more. What are you talking about? <laughs> All right, I'm going to go get a work shirt on and get doing whatever you need to do. I'll take care of it. And today we're smoking grass. See, there's talk about in California making this legal, isn't it? Look at this. They're enjoying this. They're sitting here watching me. That's what they're supposed to be doing. And they got me doing it. Y'all got some iced tea around here? So that's what you want to done right there? Yeah, it looks good. Still. Keith, whoa, 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 man, that's our cedar. You can't be burning that. What are you thinking? Well, he told me to start burning everything. Burning everything? <laughs> that's a cedar? I'd like to see the dough that goes in. No. Holy mo <laughs> <laughs> Tell everybody what's going to happen tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow we've got the uh, first annual Dream Ranch Invitational Auction. So we've got 30 animals consigned in it. We have 21 guest consigners from all over the U.S. that'll have one lot each. and got the famous Chup Brothers Auction Company coming in to do the auction. All right, well, and cool. So we expect three to 400 people here tomorrow and gonna have activities for the kids and get to show people the deer on the farm. So looking forward to it. Well, I want to see the deer in a minute. And when I drove in, I saw the tents. I said, it looks like we're going to have a deer breeders revival. Exactly. <laughs> looking forward to it. I want to show you all a neat little deal right here. This is a fly trap. And for deer breeders, I guess that's one of the biggest problems we have is flies. I mean, yeah, especially in the north, there's a tremendous amount of flies that are just a nuisance to the animal. And, and it causes a lot of stress. Well, this trap right here, 
this is a, the ultimate green trap. If you take a look down below it, you'll see a little tub. They put the bait in there, and the flies will wind up coming in and flying above the bait, and then they get trapped up in, 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 a, up in this trap here, and they die. Then you simply just open it up, dump them out, and then uh, rebait it, and you're good to go. No pesticide or anything. That's a right. That's a neat deal. And you use that along, and you're using the fly predators out here, right? We are, yeah. We use the fly predators along with the fly box, and it's had good success in eliminating a lot of the flies on our place. When the flies are, are bad up north for whatever reason. Deer and Wildlife Stories is brought to you in part by the North American Deer Farmers Association, New Dart, the North American Deer Registry, DNA Solutions, and the Dream Ranch. All right, you got the magic candy for deer, peanuts. Yeah, the peanuts. All right, let's go see some deer. Okay. Welcome back to the show, where we're about an hour from Alton of Pennsylvania at the Dream Ranch with owner Will Ainsworth. The uh, winters, they're pretty tough up here. Uh, I know last year, it was up here in January, we had a foot and a half of snow in this pen. So what we did, we built a shelter like this. That way, if there's a blizzard coming in or a big snowstorm, the deer can get out of the wind and out of the snow. And so we've got these in every pen on our farm. So y'all still feeding them three times a day now? If you're gonna ever come to a deer farm, on a tour, make sure and come during the time that they're feeding the fawns. Because if you don't like that, you just don't have a heart. Because I tell you what, that is the cutest thing to watch it go on. And you can hear them make all kinds of noises when they're doing it. It's just, it's one of the most enjoyable experiences I have visiting deer farms, watching the fawns feed. These fawns grow so fast. It's just amazing. You can tell the different age classes. This one, this little pen right here, they're much younger than the next pen over. They just grow so fast. And by the time a fawn is 100 days old, they're able to make it on their own. They're weaned and everything. They start weaning at about 60 days. While preparations are being made for tomorrow's auction, I'm just trying to keep out of everybody's way. If I don't, I know they're going to put me to work. Well, how you doing? Not too bad. Good. Good. Good to see you. Hey, we got... A uh, good tour of the place this morning. They got a lot of work to do, and tomorrow they're going to have one heck of an auction. You going to have a booth here? Yep. Will Ainsworth has been doing a lot of stuff genetically with deer to improve them, and. And he's got some really unique deer. And take a look at this one. Hey, hey, look at this one. This is a little buck. He doesn't have horns yet, but this is, this is a little buck from Will stuff right here. And he got that semen from Ricky Cleveland. Hey, we're here at the uh, first annual Dream Ranch Invitational. Uh, it's an auction we're doing. It's a lot of fun. It's in Northeast. Um, United States and Pennsylvania and Hillsdale, Pennsylvania, which is about an hour and a half east of Pittsburgh. Uh, this is a lot of fun. You know, if you're in the Northeast and want to come to an auction, you know, log on to our website. We'd love to have you attend one of our auctions. 70% of the people that are at our auction today are Amish. Uh, the reason why is you can deer farm on a small tract of land, and it's perfect for the Amish that want a simple way of life and can farm on their land. And it really doesn't take a whole lot of land. You can take five to 10 acres and raise white-tailed deer and make a great living and have a, you know, add to your income instead of subtract from it. What you're seeing going on right there, that's a little game of uh, Amish rook going on right there. And they're about as serious about that as they are the deer business. Yeah, we got two tents set up. The one main tent's for the actual auction where the auction ceremony goes on. The other tent's for where we've got exhibitors from displaying uh, products from dart guns to furniture and a lot of guys are also representing their animals that have farms across the U.S. 
The guys that are here are breeders and uh, preserve owners from all over the country. Some people that, have never, that aren't deer breeders are just wanting to learn about the business. So we've got guys from all the way from Alabama to Texas, um, all the way up obviously in Pennsylvania. We've got a lot of people locally here as well. So we've got people from all over the United States represented here. This record rack is unbelievable. You too can grow a record rack with record rack deer feet. Deer and Wildlife Stories is brought to you in part by Chaffe, Pasture in a Bag, Oil Field Camo, Record Rack Deer Feeds, and SNS Whitetail Galore. And we'll go ahead and get started. The first line I've got is uh, Yellow 66. When you come to a deer auction, there's some for everybody. We've got uh, kids activities, we've got inflatable games, trout fishing ponds for the kids. Uh, the moms are out shopping, having fun. The guys are in here looking at huge deer. Yeah, one of the things you get to do at a deer auction here is on the farm auction, is you get to see some of the largest deer in the world. One of those deer is Bucky Max. It's a 300 inch three year old out of a Max son out of a Bucky Doe. My name is Kelly Pittenger. I own Thunder Valley Whitetails and I'm associated with the Pennsylvania Deer Farmers Association. Um, we come to a lot of these deer auctions with our families and friends, set up booths. Um, we enjoy the games and looking at deer and things like that. The deer business in general is a family event. Um, most kids enjoy feeding the fawns, feeding the bucks, watching their antlers grow. Um, coming to the shows, you can also do many family events. They have contests for the kids. Um, here at Dream Ranch, they have uh, fishing for the kids and everything else. Um, so the deer business is really family oriented to where everybody gets involved. If you've ever wanted to find out what a deer sale is like, it's pretty easy to do if you've got a computer, just go online. They're now having these cameras that will display the stuff live on the internet and you can actually participate and buy and sell right there on the internet. I'll uh, guarantee this one, if it makes a difference to you, to take the hardcore. So, if that makes a difference, I'll guarantee you, Brett, if not, we'll keep her. I'll be glad to keep her here. One of the best things about deer farming uh, to me is the fact that it is very family friendly. If you take a look around, you can see wives and kids of all ages, and uh, deer farming is for the whole family. Me and my wife, Kendall, we have uh, just fortunate, we just had two twin boys, Hunter and Hayes, that are seven months old. I uh, can't wait for them to be able to be raised on a farm, to help bottle feeding, to help bush hog and pens, you know, growing up on a farm, I think, you know, definitely teaches them a lot of characteristics. I want to instill in them hard work, responsibility, respect, and really just, you know, the love of animals and the outdoors is something I can't wait to get to share with our boys growing up. We've got people from all over the United States that have come to this auction, and uh, one of the things we're going to do is in our home state of Pennsylvania, we're giving half of the commission from the lots that sell today, the Pennsylvania Deer Farmers Association. Pennsylvania Deer Farmers Association promotes and protects hunting rights in the state of Pennsylvania and also deer breeders rights. So we think it's important to support them. I don't know where Keith is. I can't find him. <laughs> you really autograph that for me? Yeah, yeah I can do that. Go. This is Ricky Cleveland, folks. Y'all are going to be hearing a lot about Ricky Cleveland real soon. Oh, wow. that sounds fun. He's one of the big hitters in the business, boys. He, <laughs> no. Yes, he, yes. Yeah, you are a big hitter in the yeah, business. Yeah, I'm just big. I ain't, You're being humble about it. Look at this. Getting his autograph. Oh, this yeah. is pretty cool. There you go. And look at that. You keep that, give it, it might be worth something one day. You know, I may bring this to Nadifa and see if somebody would buy it. Auction that off. That would be great. You saw it first, <laughs> right here. There you go. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> If you're interested in uh, getting involved in the exciting world of deer farming, go to our website or you can contact our National Deer Farmers Association, which is NADIFA, and they'll give you some information about how you can get started. For more information on deer farming, contact the North American Deer Farmers Association or you can visit our website. Deer and Wildlife Stories is brought to you in part by Bad Boy Mowers and Multi-Terrain Vehicles, BuckBreeders.com. 
Whitetail Sales and Service, and SemenSupply.com. Breed only the best. We're here at the 6th Annual ADWA Sponsored Pickapalooza. The purpose of this event is to allow children and their families to come and experience nature in a very different way. As most of us know, hunting is not easily available to children these days, and so this is an opportunity for them to experience nature and get that understanding. My name is Henry Chigi. I'm with Wildlife Analytical Labs. We're the folks known as DeerAge.com, the CSI of the mammal aging world. We're here today at uh, a pig hunt, Pigapalooza, sixth annual Pigapalooza, where ADWA is, is, is really doing wonderful things working with young folks to introduce them to both the opportunities associated with hunting and wildlife, but also the responsibilities that go with being wildlife stewards and being good stewards of the land. My name is John Ming with the American Deer and Wildlife Alliance. Uh, we're here today with our annual Pigapalooza hog hunt. Uh, we spend all afternoon teaching kids about wildlife, land stewardship, and nature. In the evening, we have a fun hog hunt. ADWA exists to promote the industry of hunting, wildlife, and nature. Uh, we, kids today are more disconnected from nature than any other time in human history, and it is our mission to help educate them of why wildlife is important, and we're taking this message across the country. It's an opportunity for any child and their parents and mom and dad to come with them to give them a chance to have an experience of hunting. As most of us know today, uh, the opportunity for children hunting is pretty slim, but ADWA has created this event and, and they don't discriminate against anybody. It allows these young people to have a place to come hunt and also an opportunity to learn more about this whole thing of wildlife stewardship. The Pigapalooza is one of several events we put on throughout the year, from safari camp hunts to wildlife nature camps to children, teaching children in classrooms. ADWA exists to promote the industry, wildlife, and nature uh, to the youth of the country. We welcome kids of all walks of life from any environment, whether they've been from urban or rural America. Uh, the main mission is to get them more involved in outdoor participation. If anyone's interested in either hosting a youth event or participating in an ADWA event, please contact us at www.deerwildlifealliance.org. We also welcome individual, corporate, and non profit support. I guess either I'm a current member, I have been a member of basically every conservation organization out there, from ducks to bucks and turkeys and elk and everything else, and I'm a lifetime member of the National Rifle Association, proud lifetime member, but I'm also a member of the ADWA, the American Deer and Wildlife Alliance, because the ADWA unlike any other conservation organization out there, encompasses everything, all hunting. They don't care if you like uh, turkeys or quail or, or mule deer or pheasants. They, they just like hunters and they support all hunting and I support all hunting. And I think that unity amongst hunters is absolutely crucial if we're gonna protect the future of hunting and that's where ADWA comes in. ADWA puts their money where their mouth is, and I don't know of a better investment that you can get as a hunter. If you're interested and concerned about the future of hunting, you need to check out ADWA. There's no better way for them to learn about the outdoors than coming to an ADWA safari camp. The reason why I let them come out here to my place is, is simple. I'm very concerned about the future of hunting, and I want to deal, I want to surround myself with like-minded people that want to do something about it. I think that a lot of landowners wind up just shutting their places down because they're scared to death of liability and, and people suing them or whatever. And if we go about our lives worried about uh, what's going to happen if somebody gets bit by a scorpion or you know what's going to happen if a tree limb falls in their head, what a horrible thing. I mean, what we need to do is look and say our glass is half full. We have a wonderful piece of property here that we want to make available to people to help grow hunting, protect the future of hunting. And I encourage any other landowner out there that has a piece of property to contact the ADWA. If you want them to come out, it's not going to cost you anything except just your place. They're going to leave it in better shape than what they found it in. And you're going to hopefully create at least one hunter, change one kid's life, and that'll change the future. I hope you enjoyed today's show, and for more information on today's featured deer farmer, 
contact the phone number that you see on the screen right now. Or you can log on to our website where we'll have a direct link from our site to theirs. And now a conservation message brought to you by the Hunter Heritage Foundation. Our efforts as hunters and conservationists are often camouflaged from the public eye. While some protest against us, vilify us and lobbying politicians to strip away our liberties, we have quietly restored America's game populations and enhanced habitat for numerous wildlife species. Hunting is an integral part of our economy and heritage and it's also an important wildlife management tool. Because of abundant food and lack of predators, unhunted whitetail populations, for example, can increase by 50% annually until they overpopulate and destroy their own habitat. This also devastates the small game and songbird populations that depend on foliage for protection. Hunting has also saved endangered species. Animals that are valued by hunters create incentive for ranchers to propagate the species, and this was proven with the resurgence of the scimitar horned oryx, whose numbers have grown by 400% in the past few years because of hunters. Hunting is a successful management tool and an American tradition, but this truth gets masked from public view. It's time for us to tear away the camouflage so that all Americans see the benefits. You can now watch full episodes of Deer and Wildlife Stories and our sister program, The High Road, online 24-7 at keithwarren.net. While you're there, check out our Facebook fan page where you can become eligible to win prizes and more. Look for our new program, Ranch Properties TV, coming up this summer. This program is dedicated to the brave men and women of the United States military, past, present, and future. May God bless America. Coming up next week. Deer farmers around the country belong to a national organization, or most of them do, and it's called NADIFA. I'm a member, and I encourage everybody else to be a member. I know James is a member. Tell everybody the reason why they should be a member of NADIFA if they're a deer farmer or want to be a deer farmer. Well, NADIFA is a one voice for you know the whole nation. It's a great organization.